I'm at the hotel. Um, so the first couple of pictures that I'm going to show you is going to be my before. And then the next pictures, pictures that I'm going to show you is going to be my after. And, oh gosh, all I can say is those massages hurt. Like I took a Percocet and to me it didn't do nothing. So tomorrow I have another massage. I'm going to try ibuprofen and hopefully that works better. But oh my God, it hurt it. You could hear like the gush when she was like getting the fluids out. So I'm like still leaking, but it hurt. Um, you know, I watch so many videos of people saying, oh, I don't understand. Like why these women come out, come out screaming. Oh, I know why. Cause it hurt. <sighs> Y'all, I was not ready for the level of leaking that is going on like i only had bought one bag of the chucks and i think it was like only 12 in there but it was the thick ones y'all get more than 12. i didn't think to get like gauze that i could wrap like gauze and then like the um like the i guess not cold bad cold band but like something that I could wrap around. I can't even think of what it's called. But I like to wrap around my leg because it's just leaking. Um. So yeah, make sure y'all get plenty of chucks, plenty of pads, plenty of tape, plenty of like something to wrap around so it'll stay in place because the tape is just really not working for me. Um. What else? Oh, so I'm going to insert some pictures of uh, the recovery house, which was by device where we stayed at. It was awesome. Like, they made you just feel at home. Um, like Giselle and then uh, Miss Jeanette, which is the mom. Giselle is the daughter. Um, and then the staff, they were wonderful, too. Like, they just make you feel so at home. I would definitely recommend them to anybody. So I'll go ahead and insert the pictures now. So y'all, in this next uh, little clip, I'm gonna show you um, my prescriptions. Now keep in mind, I do have insurance, so I was able to use it. Um, my niece did not have insurance and her total came out to like one, I think 128 or so. Um, so if y'all have insurance, please use it because that is expensive compared to what I paid. Hey y'all, so today is post-op day two and I just ordered me some food from, I think it was called the Asian Kitchen. Y'all, let me tell you about this food. Let me just show y'all what I got. Yes, honey, so this is some lo mein, but it obviously come with rice or so. I don't know. And then I got an egg roll and then I got some uh wonton soup i think there's some noodles or something to go in the wonton soup and then i ordered some sushi let's see all this but I got enough for tomorrow's lunch but yes this looks good so today um I had my second massage and 
Nah, those massages hurt. Like, it was a little bit better, but it still hurt. Ooh. That's your food. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I'm about to fall um, my face. <laughs> yeah, those massages hurt so bad. Um, I just have to trust the results because I was looking at my body and I was like, oh, it don't really look like I got nothing done. But I'm going to trust the process because I know my doctor going to come through. He done came through on me. Oh, Lord. Yeah, this is just a little clip of the hotel. This is the Comfort East Comfort Inn Suites Hotel. It's at 657 Manola Drive in Miami, Florida. Um, it was okay, but like to me, the carpet needs to be clean. Um, it was okay. Would I stay here again? Probably not. Um, but I mean, we made it. <laughs> All right, hey y'all, so we at Miami airport. So I just want to tell y'all whenever I was checking out what happened. So I checked out, I was checking out the hotel and um, I had put my deposit in cash. It was 150 in cash. So she go look in the room or whatever and then she come back, she's like, oh, unfortunately I can't give you your money back because there's blood in the sheets. I said, oh no ma'am, there was not no blood in the sheets. <laughs> we about to go uh, up to the room. So I went up to the room. I told my niece, I said, stay down here with my bags. I went back up to the room. And then my niece called and said, oh, the lady said, oh, whenever we had checked in, they had blood in the sheets. So what happened was the first room that we had checked in too, I'm pulling the sheets back to make sure they didn't have anything on it. The sheets had like a blood stain and they had like hair on, on, in the bed. So she had put that comment in the system. But whenever I seen the hair in the bed and then the urine on the toilet seat, I was like, no let's just get another room so they gave us another room so that's what she was talking about so i ended up getting my money back but y'all sis it was not i was like i'm about to call the cops y'all about to give me my money i put a line down like there's no blood so i end up getting my money back <laughs> the, my other side came out i ain't cussed though i did not curse y'all so y'all so we get into the lift. So I thought the guy said, I asked him Jules and I thought he said yes. Well, he didn't say yes because his name was not Jules. So we got picked up by the wrong lift. So I'm like, he brought us to this place. I'm like, where are we? I was like, we supposed to be going to the airport. So he was like, you not Bethany? I was like, no, I'm Shamika. <laughs> so I'm like, just let me out right here. So we end up catching another lift uh, to the airport. Um, then on the way to the airport, we didn't have our seatbelts on. A car almost sideswiped us. So I'm, like I said, I ain't have my seatbelt on. I literally went like this, y'all. All the way to the front. I was like, oh my God, my heart was beating. Her heart was beating fast. I'm like, we gotta put our seatbelts on. So y'all, it just been a morning. But we about to eat this Wendy's. Um, but yes, I'm so ready to get back home. So this is post op day four. I'm not really draining that much. Uh, I'm not really in that much pain. Like right now, I'm probably like about a four. Um, I think it most of comes like at the, I'm just like laying and then I'm just like real stiff. You know what I'm saying? But I'm okay right now. Um, but y'all, I just, I'm just, we're gonna have a little story time while I jump on this food. I just got to talk about silhouette and how they is doing people like how they coming up with all these different excuses to try to like cancel people's um surgeries because i really think they doing that because they overbooked um, oh so yeah one of the girls that was in a recovery house with us her appointment time she had to be there for three y'all they didn't take her back to like six <laughs> 
she didn't get out to like 10 or so um they had another chick i seen on facebook she uh said that she had went to pre-op and they had told her her labs and everything was good and then about an hour after she left pre-op they called her and said her platelets was high that don't sound right so i was like you need to ask like whoever did your labs like get a copy of those labs and look at them because it seem like they trying to cancel your surgery sis um and that's just not right like we pay a lot of money and we book our you know we we book things around according to when we're supposed to have surgery and we do our massages according to when we're supposed to have our surgeries and y'all canceling people y'all gonna give us our money back like they just doing the most um but we just definitely have to stand our ground and let them know we are not going to tolerate this like so y'all i'm telling y'all when y'all come out here make sure y'all have a copy of y'all labs like literally look at them yourself and see that everything is good um you know because they try to they might they just be they on a whole nother level and they will get you if you allow them to but we just got to be strong um, but yeah, I'm gonna try to eat this food. Yeah, I'm gonna come back. Welcome back. So if y'all have watched all of my Miami videos that I recently upload, then y'all know we are back where we started off, which is in my truck. So that means that I am on my way home. Yes, I am back into Louisiana, so I am on my way home. But again, y'all, thanks for taking this little journey with me, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.